Tonight at 6, Judgment Day for the former leader of the far-right Proud Boys group, Enrique Tario. Tario and four others were convicted for their roles in the January 6 Capitol riot. Prosecutors had argued the defendants had conspired to unlawfully use force, and the crowds gathered in Washington, D.C. to keep former President Donald Trump in office. Good evening. I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Jim Barry. Elliot has the night off. Let's get right to CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor. He's got a breakdown of those convictions, along with what comes next. You don't have to be physically present at the place where the crime took place. To Former federal prosecutor David Weinstein is referring to Miami native Enrique Tarrio, convicted with three other Proud Boys members of seditious conspiracy. It all stems from the riot and mob that marched into the U.S. Capitol on January 6. Unlike the other co-defendants, Tarrio was not in Washington, D.C. during the riot. He was arrested two days before and ordered by a judge to leave the city. And in this instance, the jury agreed that he was part of the conspiracy, although not physically present. Prosecutors argued they plotted the assault in an effort to keep former President Donald Trump in the White House after losing the 2020 election. Tarrio spoke with other news partners at Univision before having been arrested. They call us fascists. We are not. I think being a fascist is like being a communist. He identified himself as Afro-Cuban raised in Hialeah. He denied that the Proud Boys were violent or white supremacists. Nevertheless, the other three members facing charges are accused of participating in the violent riots of January 6. This is a significant victory for the Department of Justice because it shows and it proves that a jury, now more than one jury, believes that the people who marched on the Capitol in, on January 6th engaged in criminal activity. This Thursday, we went by the house of the family of Enrique Tarrio. His father told us he was instructed by his lawyer not to make comments. Enrique Tarrio was taken into custody here in South Florida. He and the three other Proud Boys so far could face up to 20 years in prison. In downtown Miami, I'm Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.